that the British Army will be the most modern and most lethal army in Europe by the end of this decade. What we've done is to um, adapt at real pace um, what Future Soldier set out because we know that we could be required to fight um, and certainly we need to be able to deter the threats in Europe um, this decade. Future Soldier is incredibly exciting, so um, at its heart um, it's the most radical transformation of the British Army that I've experienced in the 40 years that I've been in uniform. This is an incredibly exciting time to be joining the Army and if you're in the Army now, you join now, the Army you join will look radically different in the course of the next six or seven years. We've now got um, a really clear sense of our purpose. So the Army's purpose is to fight and win wars on land. That's an important point of clarity for everybody. Um, secondly, we have thought through um, and tested to destruction how we're going to fight. So the doctrine about how we fight, both in the near term, so in the sort of 2026 time frame, and then um, beyond that into the 2030s, um, is now set out and it's set out in the land operating concept. Right. So we know how we're going to fight and then that drives the capabilities that we need. And the pace of that is extraordinary. So to give you an idea, um, we've got, we will be fielding over 200 armoured fighting vehicles every year for the next five years. And that's Challenger 3, that's Ajax, that's Boxer, it'll be a new mobile fires platform, so a replacement for the AS-90. We've got 50 AH-64 Echoes, the attack helicopters being filled. As, that's two regiments of attack helicopters. This is, by a country mile, the most advanced fighting helicopter, attack helicopter in the world. And then there is a full program of digitization. So we're reducing from a, you know, a, a very wide fleet of legacy platforms into a much smaller fleet of incredibly cutting-edged, advanced uh, platforms. <laughs> And then that will be drawn into structures that are directly relevant, first and foremost, to the role that we have in the Euro-Atlantic area, so it's a core part of NATO. So our offer to NATO will be forward land forces, so up to a brigade, ready to defend and fight alongside our Estonians, our Estonian partners. It'll have a core headquarters with a war fighting division and core enablers under that as NATO's strategic response force. And then this year or next year, we will provide NATO's um, uh, allied response force, so the most high readiness part of NATO. Um, and that, when it's not doing that, the first division will be part of a global response force.